Well, Tim, thank you very much for coming in today. Pleasure. Much appreciated. Pleasure. I just want to start off about you know, your early days of ACY Securities. So what were your initial thoughts uh, when you became the ACY Securities Global Brand Ambassador? Um, my initial thoughts was firstly the relationship. I'm very lucky that um, I have a close relationship with Jimmy and Winston and the whole team. Uh, and we spoke about the vision because it was over four years ago about um, where they were at, where I was as a footballer and also transitioning into the executive world and also football and being around, um, you know, still being an aspiring professional and uh, educating myself because one of the things with trading the financial markets is understanding all the complexities of how to do it, why would you do it, and making sure you're secure and safe while doing it in the international markets. So uh, one of the things during COVID, which was really interesting, was this, I took a masterclass. And so I was waking up early hours of the morning, I was with the ACY securities team, learning more and understanding how I can trade, how I can use my mobile, my computer, how I have to read up on certain things and the support that I can get. And when you do things like that, then it helps the journey. But um, it's exciting because they're good people, first of all. They have a great strategic approach to the future. Um, there's so many different markets they're involved in in different countries that are opening and expanding. And for me, um, you know, it's the academic approach also because I've been retired five years now. And being an ambassador is not just about being the face, it's also being a part of the journey and the concept. And these guys are friends, you know, so I'm part of the WhatsApp group. We always keep in contact. It's great when I come back to see uh, the staff and see everyone work on these campaigns and also add a little bit of flavor to, to the concepts and also to the relationships. So from the day one, we sat together around the table so it's not just the face, um, and still to this day, we continue to smile and have fun and um, try and you know, give the best products out there and to evolve and to use innovation and technology at the same time. Well, it's great to hear that you know, you've enjoyed the journey, and like you said, you're not just the face, you know, the global brand ambassador, but you're also very close to Jimmy and Winston. Um, so what would you say are some highlights of the last three or four years that stood out to you? Highlights for me was the masterclass. Like it is a different world when you have to, you know, start learning about these trends and also learning about how to, you know, to, to pin and to use different um, markets and what to trade and what not to tra trade, but also to, to read and learn and to, to, to make yourself understand what's happening in the world because uh, it's a safe environment. It's somewhere where you create a community. So you can go on there, you can share your knowledge, you can create friends, you can be part of trading cups. Um, but also in a region where I'm living now in the Middle East, it's expanding rapidly um, and also globally. And so with my reach with playing in World Cups or playing in five continents and in, in Asia and in India, um, it's great because everywhere I go, uh, I'm connected to such a global brand. Uh, I'm connected to the financial market. And I suppose um, here it's about growth and the growth is people and the growth is community. And they do this via uh, all the, these new concepts. Like even now, uh, this morning we're speaking about uh, ACY Verse. We're speaking about the, the new platforms. We're speaking about some new con uh, concepts coming along, but there's FinLogix, there's all these things. And so every day I'm being educated, which is great, but um, I suppose it's always an opportunity to learn and to share knowledge. But I like the community they're creating. I like the, the fact that we're all connected um, and say someone can just start and then you can learn from them and you know, take trust in a, in a, in a great platform. Well, it's great to hear that, you know, this partnership, you know, is both ways. And I guess ne my next question would be, um, you know, how would you describe the collaborative relationship between you and ACY Securities? Uh, the collaborative relationship is, is about um, people. It's about trust. It's also about um, being aligned with the most powerful brand um, in the financial market, but also to help them uh, expand, to help with relations to help myself at the same time to educate uh, people that are trading to understand and to explain. And I, th and I feel for me, um, it's not an area that 
as a professional footballer, you're involved in loads. You know, a lot of people, when they come onto my platform, they ask questions and they ask, what is this? How do you do it? And I send them a link or they can um, just go onto the website. But I think it's the relationships as well, because <clears throat> as it expands to different regions, um, you get to um, help educate people. And the biggest thing is friendships. You know, every year uh, it expands, there's new staff, the building, it gets bigger. Um, not a lot of people change, you know, still the same faces. And through our group chats and through our communication and through um, the wealth of knowledge that we have as a group, uh, everyone's hitting different barriers, whether it's in the executive world, whether it's trading, whether it's friendships or whether it's the commercial opportunities. So I think there's always new concepts coming. We're speaking about some exciting you know, dinners, maybe some uh, football games with the staff and also maybe some legends, different things. And you expand through these opportunities. And I think that's probably the biggest thing is a lot of the brands that I've been associated with in my portfolio has been for five years to a decade and longer. Um, it's not something that's just a flash in the pan. It's, it's about evolving and with these new concepts coming now, <coughs> ACY Verse, all these other opportunities with the platforms, um, I'm constantly learning and they're constantly challenging me as well. And uh, I hope everyone's enjoying watching um, the growth of such an amazing company. Yeah, definitely. And it's great to have you as part of that growth. It's been great the last three or four years so far, so definitely looking forward to the future. And so how, how would you um, say this partnership has contributed to your personal growth and learning of not only the financial industry, but also your career? Uh, my career, I think it's important because when I retired, I, I made the executive decision to go and get my coaching badges straight away. So I did my C, my B, my A and my pro license. Along aligned with that during COVID, I did the uh, masterclass, the ACY uh, educational with, with one of the top gurus that's involved with ACY. <coughs> and it was challenging because you have to make notes. I had three computers up, um, learning things every single day. But um, I think that's a good thing because I did the Harvard course, the BEMS Entertainment uh, Media and Sports course, then I've done the Jassaw Institute in Qatar. So I've constantly evolved and now in the FIFA diploma. So I think what ACY did, they helped me see the academic side of uh, trading and also helped me to sort of like uh, you know, evolve into this role as an executive. My role now is, is pretty heavy when it comes to responsibilities, especially in Qatar as the Chief Sports Officer um, of Aspire Academy, but also now um, Technical Director of all national teams. So it's, uh, it's fantastic. I'm very, very thankful for that, but I'm also thankful for, I say it's an ambassador role, but it's very executive as well because sitting with Jimmy and Winston and the team is about strategic conversations about the future, uh, st strategic markets of where we can open up and where we can look at, and at the same time, uh, important dates within the year to be back to launch things or to be involved in. So. Yeah, it's, be, it's been good because I've aligned ACY um, as an executive academic approach to learning more about the company and then as a global ambassador to be the face as well is, is, is a massive privilege and something that um, I take great pride in because, um, you know, to come back and make sure that I understand that everything with the company is, is more important than, like I said earlier, than just being a face. Well, that's great. You mentioned you got your coaching badges. That sounds pretty cool. Um, Tell us a bit more about your role at Aspire Academy as a Chief Sports Officer. Yeah, my, my role as a Chief Sports Officer is uh, we have 18 entities across the Aspire Zone with hospital, hotels, um, seven different sports, football, uh, the most amazing uh, facilities, which is worth hundreds of millions, but it's sort of like the national curriculum of the future of Qatari uh, athletes. Building relations globally with Premier League, with clubs, with FIFA, uh, taking on special projects. Um, I think it's great because for me, it's always been about, you know, bettering myself as a, as a person, but also learning more about the global world of understanding uh, how to develop talent, create pathways, and also to, to help a country that's just hosted the biggest show on earth, the best ever World Cup held in Qatar. My responsibility now on top of that as a technical director is to help 
Qatar qualify for a World Cup, um, the 23s for an Olympic Games, and also we have the Asian Cup, which is not too far away in Qatar. So there's many responsibilities, but my task is more about managing departments, managing people, delegating well, understanding um, that without people, it's very difficult to be successful. So uh, it's the relationships, it's trust, and it's um, enjoying the journey, whether there's ups and downs, the same uh, on a pitch. We have a strong motto with Carlos Quiros, my head coach of the national team, is um, we try and make the impossibles possible. And every day we look to uh, improve 1% better. You know, you can't win. And if, if we don't win, we learn. Um, so these are the concepts that we take on board. Um, and now I carry it in the executive world every day with, with great pride. And I um, enjoy these different responsibilities of being an executive because now I think it's nearly five years retired and it seems like it's, um, it's gone so quick. Yes. And um, I know that you've also been following the Matildas in the yeah. recent World Cup. <clears throat> They've just beat France in the penalty shootout and playing against England tonight. Um, how do you think that the Matildas' great journey has, will inspire the next generation of football stars here in Australia? I think it's great because when you host big tournaments, you make an impact. Um, and this is the first ever tournament of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, it's not only had an impact on Australia, it's had an impact on Oceania and New Zealand. I've been lucky enough to be with Gianni into some of these neighbouring countries like Samoa, Vanuatu, Tonga, Fiji, um, and help talk about specialised projects to improve the facilities, to improve um, the infrastructures, improve academies. And um, this is the impact for that, but the impact for football is mega. People can see it. And my support for the Matildas or women's football has gone back many, many years. Uh, I was the ambassador of the France World Cup, uh, the last World Cup, and the France World Cup was a women's World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and it's important for me to stay consistent because uh, this is just the reward of everything that they deserve. And it's also the impact of uh, being brave going out there and, and, and taking the tournament and hosting it and letting people embrace it. So I think it's just going to grow bigger. I'd love to see the pathways be created more where kids can play for free in Australia. I think this will be a, a big game changer if they can work on that. And also more, more football specific stadiums, more academies, more infrastructure and more government involvement because these are the things that change the dial in the, in, in the leagues that I've played in globally, in um, the industries that I see, um, football is not just about the game, it's about politics, about broadcasting rights, and um, the Matildas are doing fantastic. I'll be at the game um, and I'll be supporting them, and I think they'll, they'll win because they've beat France. It's one of the best teams in the competition, and they have the fans. And to have the fans and to have the country behind you makes a massive difference, so I wish the girls all the very best. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Any score predictions for tonight, then? Score predictions, it's always a cagey affair when it comes to uh, the game because I think it'll definitely be a draw, whether it'll be a, a goalless or a scoreless draw, and it'll go to penalties again. Because it's uh, if Australia score first, they win. If they don't, then um, there could be some problems. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be yeah. a great game. Fantastic. Just some um, final thoughts. Do you have a message for... For the ACY Securities clients or staff or all the fans that have been along with yeah. you for this journey. Yeah, firstly to the ACY fans, people on the platform, everyone that's a part of the ACY family, I want to say thank you for uh, coming on the platform, for being part of this family, but also at the same time um, for continuing to enjoy the journey. Um, and we look forward to bringing a lot more to the table. Uh, there's some exciting news and announcements coming up in the future, as always, because we're always evolving. We're always trying to challenge ourselves. But the main thing is, is to have fun, um, share with each other on the community your experience. And if there's anything we can do, then we're here. And thanks again. Share, share.